Well, first, let me start off by saying how much I have needed a little break from life right now and camping has uh, presented itself as an opportunity for me to do for a few days. I apologize for not really doing too many videos lately, but just life and my schedule have been a little bit hectic. I'm away for two days. I am in Huntington County, Pennsylvania. I am in Trough Creek State Park. And it is absolutely beautiful here, mid-October. Temperature right now is about 65. It's just beautiful here. All the leaves, I'd say maybe 75% of the leaves have started to change. And so far, it's looking to be like a really nice couple of days. <laughs> Smoke's getting in my eye. But I'm excited to be here. I have zero cell service. There we go. Switch spots. Smoke out of my face. Now watch it move this way. <laughs> I am located just kind of southeast of Raystown Lake. So Huntington County, Raystown Lake. Uh, it's a it's a massive lake that's you know very popular for especially in the summer and this park is kind of connected to Reestown Lake a certain part of it. I'm going to see if I can explore that tomorrow. I got here a little bit early. Technically, check in is at three, but no one was here before me. This site was available last night, so um, I just came right in, set up, and so far it's really quiet. Okay, so before it rains, which it's supposed to, I'm going to try to get in this little hike. Um, it is a balanced rock that's on this kind of cliff face. So it looks like a relatively short trail. It's a very popular area. There's a couple people already parked here. Um, but the sun's out, and I'm, so I'm going to take advantage of this weather and walk up there. Uh, but before that, I need to change out of my flip-flops. <laughs> So you can see it up there. That's where this trail is gonna lead. The trail goes down and around. There's a creek right here, and then it kind of comes back up this way. There's some nice little signage that they have. I've actually done this trail before. I was a lot younger. I think I did it, pff, I was a kid, so I don't really remember how old I was or even appreciated what was happening, but here's the sign. Suspension bridge. A little bit of a waterfall and a balanced rock. Oh gosh. Oh. Slow down. It is beautiful here. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going right. Here is that rainbow waterfalls. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought it would be a little bit more. But I guess they haven't had much rain here lately. It's pretty. Looks like there's an older set of steps right here. You can see the new steps here. So I guess they were replaced at one time. Looks like they would go up to just about there and then cut across up to the trail. I'm wondering where it would have crossed over here. I don't know. Up and up we go. Look at this thing. Holy cow. Oh no. 
I think I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I don't even care. It's pretty nice up here. Lots of steps though. Wish I knew what trail. You know, I do this every time I get a map and then I leave it in my van. So it's of no use to me there. But here we are. Oh well. <laughs> There it is. Move over here so you can see it better. The Balanced Rock of Trough Creek State Park. And it is just hanging on there. Not much underneath there. <laughs> That's wild. Pretty freaking cool. Like I said, I've been here before as a kid. I vaguely remember it, but that was a long time ago. It was a small, I guess, viewing area. I don't know what's down this way. There's not like a formal way to get up here. I thought, I could have swore I remember there being stairs. Maybe more so over here, but a couple different ways to get up. But yeah, pretty cool. Just hanging right off there. <laughs> Definitely make sure you have some decent shoes if you come up here. I'm sure these rocks are pretty slippery and they're wet. So, just as a warning. And the leaves don't help either. And back over the bridge. Let's go slow this time. Like really, like this doesn't concern anybody. Let's go down here. A little bit nicer view of the bridge. There's the trail we were on. And we went all the way up here ish. Well, that went pretty. Oops. Oops. Straighten myself up here. That went pretty well. Uh, I'm here on a Wednesday. Wednesday, it's probably about two o'clock now. Uh, where I'm camping, which is here in the, the park, I can't really get to my campsite till three. So I got here a lot earlier than I thought I would. Plus, it gave me time to explore this area 
because uh, tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So now I'm gonna go see if they've put my name on my uh, site yet, and hopefully I can just park there and get set up. All right, so I am site six, which I believe is this one here. I see a piece of paper. Electric. I'm just gonna pull right up close to that. I thought I'd give you a little tour of the campground since there's not too many people here. So this is the main entrance. This is the way I came in. There I am over there. I'm site six. And each one's pretty much the same. This one up top there has a tent pad. And then you have your trash hook, your fire ring, and your picnic table, which is pretty standard with most Pennsylvania state parks. There's another tent pad up there. So here's the main um, welcome billboard. Kind of giving you all your information. 100% reservable. So you can reserve online, which is what I did. It was super, super easy. Uh, all that is done through DCNR, uh, their website. It's, it's really easy. You can pick out your own campsite. You can also see pictures of the campsite if you've never been here before. So you can see which ones are maybe more shaded, which ones are a little bit more in the sun, um, if any are waterfront, like have creek access or lake access or things like that. All right, so here is the back side. And these sites are a lot more shaded. But it looks like we go up to 29 sites. A closer look at the bathrooms. Uh, it's two men's and then two women's. And then this is kind of cool. Uh, they have a self-pay firewood box so you come up it's kind of like an honor system five dollars a bundle and you can grab it so that's pretty cool here's kind of a more up close look at one of the tent pads that they have here tent pads are usually like a little raised section on a campsite with like a fire or gravel or a pebble so you're not sleeping on you know big hard stuff but you can a decent sized tent here and then you have the main kind of parking area so you can back in your rv or your pop-up or your dam this one has a nice little rock wall and there's your fire pit picnic table and your trash hook just so you can elevate any food or anything like that. Keep animals and stuff. Rodents, insects out of your food. I thought it was pretty reasonable. So for one night, of course this isn't peak season, but for one night it was $26. So to get an electric site, you know, under $35, $40 is pretty uncommon. Beat that hotel. Right, and here is my electric box. I'll flip that open for you so you can see it. So you have your main hook up there for an RV, your breaker box, and then you have two, uh, you know, like a standard wall outlet, which is what I have my extension cord in. Well, good morning. It did rain. 
still raining. It started around 1.30 in the morning. It took me a very long time to fall asleep. Uh, I wasn't cold or anything, but I just couldn't seem to get comfortable. But it pretty much rained from 1.30, and it's probably about 8.30 now. But it's not nearly as heavy as it was, so I'm hoping that it's letting up. I'm going to slowly wake up and figure out what I'm going to do today. Well, by some magical turn of events, the rain has stopped and the sun's out. <laughs> Which is awesome. So I'm going to get dressed. Oh, more dressed than I am. And see what else I can find while things are relatively dry. So another interesting uh, kind of attraction here at Trough Creek is called the Ice Mine. Uh, it sounds cooler than what it is. <laughs> it's about three quarters of a mile from the campground. It's a relative, it's just on the main road here. So I decided to walk down and because uh, the rain is still stopped. So it's pretty interesting the idea behind it and the history behind it. So I'll show you around. Pretty cool little section here. See it all the way down there. And there's steps that lead up to the top here. Okay, yeah, so construction of the railroad enhanced the cave's coal trapping potential when the raised rail, bread, rail bed inadvertently created an earthen dam in front of a small cave. CCC, Trough Creek, blah, blah. thus the walls and stairs were built around it. So basically the idea is that when they were building a railroad in this area, um, and I, you probably can't really see it, but there is a, quite a large um, ridge line behind me with some stones and whatnot. There are pockets of air and pockets of water in this um, hillside. And during the winter, they freeze. And because they're so insulated by the ridge or the mountain during the summer, this gap down here, this opening into these fissures into the mountain, lets out cold air. So in the summer, the air that comes out of here is actually quite cold. So people would store food, um, different things like that down here. In the winter, it's, you know, there's no cold air coming out of here because everything else is cold. But let's take a walk down there. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of feel, yeah, definitely, as you get down lower and lower, uh, it's definitely quite cold. And I'm not just saying that because, uh, you know, there's rocks everywhere, but there's definitely cold air coming out of there. Slightly creepy, but pretty cool. I know a lot of people hang out down here in the summer because it's like natural air conditioning but pretty cool. So now technically this is the edge of Trough Creek. The road just kind of stops uh, right here. This is still the main road in and out of the park, the same road that the Balanced Rock was on, the same road that the campground's on. And there's the creek that we were exploring yesterday. And you can just see right here, right about here is where Raystown Lake uh, begin. So I'm going to see if I can get down here and see if I can cross over and maybe walk a little bit closer to the lake. You can see here what once was that creek has now opened up and really become part of the lake. This is just like a tributary inlet. This isn't the lake itself, but pretty cool to see it. So still Okay, so now I'm about two miles from the campground, so I'm going to turn around here 
and go back because I'm pretty hungry. I haven't made anything for lunch yet. So I'm going to see if I can start a fire and uh, make something hot to eat. But a nice little walk. Oh, just a little bit of a history lesson. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term CCC, three C's, that stands for Civilian Conservation Corps. And what that means is, so during the Great Depression, during the late 20s and early 1930s, uh, a lot of people were out of work. And Franklin Roosevelt created the Civilian Conservation Corps, uh, which basically enlisted hundreds of thousands of men into state employment, government employment, to come into areas of natural importance, uh, historical importance, and basically create parks, re rehab them, refurbish them, what have you. And for the first time in history, they had a workforce to devote all of their time into rehabbing and developing these properties. And Trough Creek State Park is a beneficiary of that. Actually, Pennsylvania has quite a few state parks that were created and designed and laid out by the CCC. So if you have never heard of them, that is what that is. And if you ever go to a state park and you ever see, especially in Pennsylvania, a CCC plaque or marker, that's what it means. And that's what they did. instance we're back here at the ice mine and you can see here in 1933 when the civilian conservation corps began building the facilities for trough creek state park they saw the potential for a tourist attraction in the cave thus the walls and stairs were built around it all right so we got a fire lit I'm very excited because once i got back to the campground well, actually, before, right after I left the ice mine area, it just downpoured uh, and it rained until I got back to my campsite. Once I got back in the van and changed and dried, uh, it pretty much kept raining for another two hours. <laughs> but it was really peaceful and relaxing, so I just took a nice nap for like three hours. <laughs> it stopped now, so I'm going to take full advantage of that make some dinner because I still have a little bit of cold food left, some perishable food, so I want to get rid of that before uh, I head back tomorrow morning. But yeah, hopefully it stays just like this for the rest of the night. Make some bacon, egg, and cheese quesadillas. All right, let's grab this bacon. I think that's rendered enough. All right, so I got my bacon chopped up but it's still a little bit too fatty for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in and let that really crisp up. All right, so now it is time to add the eggs. Let's see what that gives me. All right, let's give you a stir. Oh, I love cast iron. All right, cheese time. And I'm just using some craft singles. Well, sliced American, but same diff thing. Let it do its thing. some flour tortillas here. And I am all packed up. A couple little bottles there, but all packed up and ready to go for in the morning. I'm gonna be leaving pretty early, so I'm not gonna be filming. So 
I wanted to thank everybody for watching this video and sticking it out to the end. Uh, I'm going to keep doing these, keep doing some more videos, trying to do little things and uh, hopefully continue to grow my brand, if it were, whatever that brand may be yet. I still haven't found my <laughs> niche, but um, again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, and if you ever get the chance, come on out to Trough Creek State Park. It's a beautiful state park, and I don't think you'll regret it. So until I see you on the next video, thanks for watching. See you down the road.